All right, today what we wanna do is show you how we get professional results using our products uh, on texturing and graining repairs. So everybody knows you can heat up a heat cure compound, take a graining pad, press the grain in, all right? Uh, that's well known. You can also take a texturing product and spray the texture on there. But sometimes, especially with hard plastics, uh, you wanna get the repair flat and then you wanna texture it, but you don't wanna use a spray texture. So how do you get a more defined type of a texture in there? Well, if you wanna get just a regular pebble texture, first thing you do is you can take power gel, apply it to your damaged area, and use it like texture paste, okay? You apply the power gel, you take a cloth, and you just lightly dab up and down. This will create different types of texture. So, you know, higher, lower, you want it really fine, whatever you wanna do, you can then create texture using this method, okay? Now, let's say we want a more defined grain. We want it to be more uh, like what the actual texture is. Maybe there's more lines or whatnot in it. So again, we'll take the power gel and we'll fill that damaged area. Let's just say this is on the corner of a door panel, okay? We fill that up and we'll lightly dab it. So it's sort of high, but not super high. Then we take kicker. We'll spray the texture pad of the texture that we want to be. Then we take this pad now and we apply that to the gel. We hold it in place. What this will do is the kicker will activate the gel. The gel will take on the actual texture that's in the graining pad. So now your texture is gonna be pretty close to what you want it to be as you're filling the repair. So you hold it there for a few seconds, not very long, and then you peel it back. And what you have is a texture that is inside the gel. Then you just lightly sand these edges out and it's gonna be much easier to blend your repairs. So that's a technique that we use, a couple techniques that we use to get texture into our repairs.